Hi everyone. So I bought another Power Mini uh, recently, um, and here's the box. But to my surprise, we have now a Buddy Pole Power Mini 2. So recently they updated their Power Mini, and um, I wasn't aware of that. It didn't state that on the website. What I've noticed in difference, because on the last page, it's a very nice, um, gives you nice detailed explanations on specifications. The only thing that I saw different was that the USB charge output voltage now goes to 5.2, where it used to go to 5.0, which is not a big difference, right? This is the... Uh, buddy pole USB mini the first one um, but the USB charge max output current is now at 4 for the um, buddy pole um, power mini 2 while previously is at 1.5 now that's a big difference because now you're able to run something like um, and be more comfortable I should say but you should be more comfortable in running like a raspberry pi in the field so that's really that was a real nice surprise and there might be other specifications and differences that I'm not aware of at, as of this filming uh, so as I use the power mini 2 maybe I'll find something new okay uh, let's look at the um, you know the build on this the Power Mini 1 and 2, they're practically the same. Great thing about these uh, solar charge controllers is that uh, they're, they, they have Anderson power poles. And in this case, they're color coded, which is awesome. So here we have a blue and black instead of a red and black. Blue for battery, like a Bioeno. And it almost has the same, it's almost the same color, doesn't it? And then the yellow and the black will be for the sun, for the solar, very nice. And then we have the uh, USB-A connection, which is awesome, now that it's four amps instead of 1.5. And then we have the loads, the load connections on uh, Anderson power poles. And if I remember right, these go up to what, 30 or 35? 35 max load current, 35 amp continuous. So that's a lot of amps uh, that are being pumped out. Uh, so same thing as the uh, Power Mini, the first one. So what I wanna do is I wanna quickly put this together uh, and have it ready so that I can connect something like the ICOM 705 in the field. So practically, this is all you really need if you want to connect a um, solar panel to your IC705. Okay, so I got my, um, this one is the uh, uh, BioNO Power um, battery, which is the 12 volt, three amp power one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect the battery first, you, sh you should do that. Power Mini 2 drivers are stated there, so that's that's a good thing. Um, then I have my uh, solar panel. Uh, cool thing about Anderson power poles, you can change the, the colors of the um, plastic coverings here. So I have it as yellow, so that I can remember that this one is the solar panel outside. And so I'll connect that here and match that. And wow, there you go. So a few things before we start, we should definitely check, go to uh, select, go to the second page here. And here it says battery type, lithium iron phosphate number four. If you click on hold and select, then you're able to change the type of batteries. Lead acid, if you have a lead acid, lithium polymer, poly, lithium polymer, 
a lithium iron phosphate 3, which only goes up to a max uh, charge voltage of 10.8, and then lithium uh, iron phosphate number 4, max charge of 14.4, which this is the type of battery uh, we have. And if I click on select, it takes you to the max charge of 4. The default is 14.4. That's great. Click on select again. Low voltage trip at 11. That's where I want it. So if, it, if the battery goes to 11, it's going to turn it off. Um, here uh, we have the low voltage reset at 11.5. So the battery needs to be charged up to 11.5 so I can reconnect again to the loads. And then the next page over, auto off. So this is important. This needs to be enabled to make sure the device turns off when the voltage is down. And then there's an alarm as well. Now, if you want to change the auto off, you can always click and hold on select. And then you can dis disable it if you want. But if you click on select, the alarm goes on. And then you have high voltage trip and then also a high voltage reset as well. Okay, awesome. So let's go over the display very quickly. On the left, we have battery. On the right, we have solar. And right now, the battery is at 3.83 voltage. And it says right now um, zero amps because there's nothing being, um, there's nothing being, there's no load to it. But what I'll do is, I'll connect my iPhone uh, SE to this. And we have close to hmm, less than a tenth of an amp because it's already charged. So we already see, oh, now it's almost zero. So there's really no draw to it because it's already charged. But you can see it's uh, pulling a little bit. Let's see. I'll turn it on and now you can see it's pulling some. Now on the bottom over here we have zero amp hours so as time goes on that's going to get bigger the, the value is going to get larger as how much battery was uh, given to the load and then for the solar we have uh, 20.9 right now we have a very um, cloudy day so there's a lot of clouds going through the sun uh, but right now it's um, pulling in 20.9, uh, only 0.18 amps. And again, that's because the sun going through the clouds. Um, so that's how much amps um, uh, getting from the solar panel. And then this other zero on the bottom, zero amp hours, meaning how much sun has come in so that I can charge the battery. Right now it's under float, which means that uh, the battery is charged. And if there's any loads, um, it's taking care of that for the moment. Okay. Um, I forgot what the star is. Uh, let's see. So the star means the alarm uh, audio is on. Okay, um, now if you press select once, the value that I like to look at is the bottom one. And it says battery use. Right now it's at negative, uh, negative four amp hours. Now if the battery is fully charged, right, and you connect it, um, then the power mini will reset everything It'll, this value will be zero and this is a this is a good thing because uh, as you use it more and more let's say at night this value will become like a positive value the battery use so if you have loads at night it's going to draw power from the battery and then at night you can always check this battery use and how much ampage has been drawn out um, and then when the sun comes out again 
then this value starts dropping. If the battery is not fully charged when you start this process, then um, if, if um, you put it on the sun and you have like a negative number, like a negative three amps or something, well, it was missing that amount to begin with. So keep that in mind. I always like to see the battery use. That's really useful uh, for me. Now, the Power Mini 2 doesn't know anything about how many amps, amp hours you have on the battery. Again, it's only going to turn on and off based on the voltage that it that it um, that it's measuring. Okay, now there's other settings in there that you might want that you might be interested in. I do have another video that uh, goes over the power mini one. Basically, you have the same type of setup. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to connect the IC705 to the power mini two. There we go. And I haven't turned it on yet. <laughs> uh, and you can see that it's drawing something like uh, 0.48 or something. Let's unplug this. Okay, 0.46. Now it's doing that because it's uh, charging the internal battery on this. But let's turn this on. And you can see that we are at approximately 0.38 amps. And now we have a load here. So we are now running. We got the power um, going on. And we can add another load, like a light, if we want to, or another radio, um, or any other device that you have for an Anderson power pole. And you're on your way. That's how easy it is to um, connect your uh, Power Mini 2 to a bio and a battery and to your radio as well. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, and I hope to see you in the air. This is Frank, Whiskey Charlie, Zero Oscar.